Today, we're going to be talking about X1 Search and some of the advantages at a glance that we're going to show you in this demonstration. You're going to see a unified search across all of your data sources, emails, loose files, cloud sources. There's not a better way to search Microsoft 365 that you'll experience. You're going to see patented, fast as you type Boolean searching, sorting your results immediately. You're going to see a simple, easy to use interface that can instantly preview over 500 file types. Post actions are a very helpful way to start executing and working with the files without leaving the X1 search interface, much simpler than having to navigate to multiple native applications to find your data. And ultimately, you're going to stop searching and start finding with X1. We're going to move into the demonstration. Now we're in the X1 search interface. Over on the left-hand column, you'll see this is where all of the data sources are configured. So you can have your mail, your OneDrive, your Teams, your Gmail, local files, and including network files configured for X1 Search. I'll go ahead and select the all category so I can federate across all of the data I have in the application. In the center screen here, you're gonna see our results list. The results list will scale down instantly as you start to find information with X1. And there's also columns up here at the top that you could use to sort the information if you were looking to an email that was sent to a particular individual or, or a subject that you knew was in the email header, or if you just knew the date of when it was last sent, you could simply filter by that as well. And on the right-hand side, you're going to see this is our preview pane. This is where you'll get over 500 file types previewed instantly for you as you start to search. In the upper right column, you're going to see what we call post-search actions. This will allow you to interact with the file without opening a native application. So you could reply to an email, you could forward an email, you could delete it, you could mark it as read, you could move it, you could copy it, you could do a ton of things here with our post search actions without having to leave the X1 search application. Finally, we're going to talk about how to start finding information in X1. This query bar here at the top is where you're going to type in your search terms. So let's say you were looking for something that had to do with the State Department. You can simply start typing in the words and you'll see it instantly filtering on the screen. So as I typed in State Department, I went from 60,000 items down to 2,800 items. Now, if I was looking for something specifically that had state and department next to one another, I'll simply come in and add quotes around that. And now it becomes an explicit search of knowing where the State Department information is, is in there. And as I click through, you'll see it being highlighted on the screen in a single color, meaning it's been anded together. And you could quickly sort through this information. If you had saved searches that you had previously searched, um, you could come down and select any of those and i'll choose the state department and iraqi and we'll start to see all of this information being displayed on the screen quickly now let's talk about searching teams data one thing x1's been able to do is solve the modern attachment problem people are putting hyperlinks and emails and hyperlinks and in chats nowadays but they're not a physical file x1 indexes that content so your search results are not only against the text in the chats it's also going against the text in the files including modern attachments if I wanted to search my Teams channels, I simply just come down and click on my account and I can begin to search for anything I'd like for. And I'll just say we're looking for projects today. So as I type in projects, you'll see Project Avalanche shows up and I have about 68 results down from 60,000. If I thought the file had an attachment, maybe I was looking for a specific attachment, by holding my control key down and selecting attachments, it'll now sort that search on the particular file and I'll find the attachment instantly as I search. So these are some of the simple ways you can stop searching and start finding with X1. If you have any needs in the large enterprise, X1 has a full e-discovery suite called Enterprise Collect. We'd welcome to talk to you about any kind of projects you have coming up.